Hello everyone, this is the new Fiat 500e. It's Fiat's new entrant into the EV market and as you might expect, they've used the 500 a car they have wrung every possible use out of. We don't do stress at the AA, we do car insurance. Relax, yellow and black have got your back. Thank you very much to Brian Reynolds Fiat in Drogheda for the assistance in making this video. Please do like this video, subscribe, and also hit that bell icon to stay in touch with all of our latest video releases. Fiat have been pretty quiet in Ireland for some time. However, that looks like it's set to change. Fiat is now, of course, part of the giant Stellantis group internationally, but here in Ireland, it's looked after by the mighty Gowan group. So expect things to change quite rapidly. So let's look at the styling of this 500e. We can see for a start that the bonnet is splitting these new LED lights and it does look a little bit more masculine, a little bit more aggressive than 500s of old. Moving across, we can see that the uh, there's nice black accents on this vehicle and this colour in particular is very unusual. It might, might not be able to pick it up from the camera, but it's ocean blue and it changes colour depending on where the light hits it. Charging up. The 500e is pretty simple. The, you have your Type 2 and your CCS combo unit, of course, where the traditional fuel cap would be. Boot space at the back. It's not massive, it's 186 litres, but look, it is a Fiat 500, what do, you, what do you expect? And it's gonna be enough for the basics. I have some camera gear here and uh, it's gonna be fine for shopping, but yeah, it, it's, it's small enough, but that's part of the course for this size of vehicle. So starting from the Right hand side in the cabin, the plastics are a little bit scratchy, but this is an entry level car of course. What is unusual is the fact that there are no door handles, Fiat have instead went for a switch. Which um, is puzzling because that's just potentially another thing to go wrong. Some nice details in here, you can see it says made in Torino and a detail of the original 500. Moving across some nice um, inserts which are body coloured. Um, on the dashboard which look good moving back we have um, a two-spoke multifunction steering wheel so we have your cruise control you have your phone controls and your voice activation and your menus here on the left hand side there are plenty of physical buttons in the 500 for people who like those so all of the air conditioning is controlled by physical buttons and here's the infotainment system which is a really quite a nice unit and um, quite responsive and it also has obviously Apple CarPlay and Android Auto which is pretty much the default that you want to have in any new car. As you can see those um, interior details are nice, it is a nice um, finish on the areas, certainly at the areas that are high up, um, lower down, the, the plastics are a little bit lighter. But um, otherwise the, the upholstery is, is very nice in this. Look, if you are tall like me, rear seat space is going to be pretty small. But look, this is a Fiat 500. You're not going to be expecting to put giants in the back of this car, or nor should you, because uh, they're not going to be very comfy. But for, for someone tall, up front it's fine. Visibility is very good as well. Um, certainly all around visibility is good. So, um, so yeah, if, it's, if you don't need enormous tons of space, this is going to be more than adequate. The 500e starts from 24,995 after grants for the 24 kilowatt hour battery, which would be much better off going for the 42 kilowatt hour version for 2,000 euro more. We were driving the Icon version for 28,995, and the spec is excellent. There's also a convertible version from 31,495 after grants. In terms of specification, the Action model gets 15-inch wheels, air conditioning and LED lights front and rear. Passion models get wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and a 7-inch touchscreen infotainment system. Icon, as we have here, has the larger 10.25-inch infotainment system and 16-inch alloys. And the La Prima version pretty much has everything, including a panoramic roof, 17-inch alloys and Fiat co-driver level 2 autonomy. So let's talk numbers for a second. There's a choice of two battery sizes in the 500e. You have either a 24 kilowatt battery or a 42 kilowatt battery. Now the 24 puts out 95 horsepower and has a claimed range of around 185 kilometers, while the 42 has 118 horsepower and puts out up to 320 kilometers. Now, for 2,000 euro extra, 
I think most buyers would be wise to go for the larger battery because as we know the claimed range isn't always possible for a variety of conditions be it cold weather or motorway driving or whatever so the potential in the smaller battery of only 185 will probably end up being not so usable and for a 2000 euro leap then the 42 kilowatt one makes an awful lot more sense overall though this is a really nice car to drive it's super nippy it's super cute it is a fiat 500 so you should know what to expect it's not a large family car but as a second car in a family this would be brilliant because I think you'd need to move up the grades a little bit so it's not going to be a 24 grand car it's going to be more like a you know late mid to late 20s car before you get a higher specification and get that bigger battery you can of course as well go for a convertible version if that's your thing but overall it's a, it's a lovely car it's a lovely second car or a car if you lived in a city and you weren't you know hacking up and down motorways fiat have really improved this car, the infotainment system is great. The quality of the interior is much, much better than before. So this is one to pay attention to and it's um, another viable option. And they are available at the moment, which is something that we can't say about a lot of other EVs. That's it for this week. Please do remember to like this video, hit subscribe if you haven't already. It does help us grow our channel and hit the bell icon as well to stay in touch with all of our latest videos.